going on, y'all? It's your boy Grove. As you can see, I got some stuff here. And it's going to be time to open it now, finally. That came in January. It's been sitting there. And the, this came today. And that. It's going to take me a long time to get through this, as you can see. It's a lot to do. I want to get to use that tonight. It's probably going to be tomorrow morning, my best guess. I'm already tired, but that's because I was just too excited for this to come last night. Got as much sleep as I could. Opening boxes, not my specialty. Everything with this build is going to take forever, so... Gotta be patient, it will be done. Box number one. This is from T Slots.com. T Nuts, excuse me. Yeah, T Nuts.com. They didn't have the aluminum I wanted, but they had these things. Rubber feet, those look nice. And T Slot Nuts. Also, Not so sure what those are. Those might be for the feet. Yeah. All right, box number one out of the way. Box number two from 8020. This is really the box that came today and uh, I was looking forward to. This is the brackets. Did not find the right brackets. I might not even be able to build this today if these don't fit, don't do the job, but I think they will. I did the research that I was supposed to do. Possible. Gonna waste time. Those look strong. All right, box number two out of the way. Number three from Track Racer. going to be the wheel mounts. This is the entire reason I spent more money because I wanted side mounts. This box has the side mounts. Supposedly they're better for this wheel. I just wanted to do everything to the highest spec I could with this. You can see my old rig back here. It's Check this out. It's like, it just wobbles. This part not solid when you push. Quite a bit of wiggle. It's not good enough. I'm gonna use this chair on the final build. I don't have another chair. We're gonna rig it up, and make it work. All right. Thank goodness they gave me one of these. Big Allen wrench. It's gonna come in handy. Thank goodness. And this is from Track Racer. Like I said, this gives me everything I need for the wheel mounts. Those are heavy. These are extremely heavy. Shouldn't go here for now, somewhere else. These are all the bracket tree. the arms of the wheel mount. Check that out. A little different than the sim lab. I thought this looked better. Same job, different way of doing it. I paid what I paid, just like 50 more than what the sim lab side mounts cost. The biggest difference between this rig and the sim lab rig is the sandwich place inside. I've just done like months of research. So when shit finally got ordered, I knew what I was doing. And I should be able to build this with no instructions because none of it ever comes with instructions in the first place if you hear people go buy the same lab rigs. Alright, so I can move all this to fly. Yeah, these are um these are corner brackets for the rig itself, some of the main stuff. You can see. These guys, got a whole bunch. I got like four or five more than I needed just because why not? 
the feet and the two slot nuts. This, by the way, is the drive hub that I've been using for a long time now. Been getting the job done with this. My G27. What are we on? Box number number four. This is the pedal plate. Big heavy duty pedal plate. I didn't like the Simlab pedal plate. Really one of the main reasons I went with this rig. Probably number one reason I chose this. This style of ring. Do it yourself ring. Got pedal plate and wheel mounts from Track Racer. Everything else independently. Four or five companies represented here. None of them paying me. We'll see how they come through. I saw some dust. Oh man, those are diesel. Piece of the side mount. I mean, uh, the pedal plate. Probably the corners. It's going to be like to, to angle it. That's the main piece that I wanted right there so I can make it go down into the rig. You know, I just want to make sure that no matter who sits in my rig, you know, for me too, like if I can get the perfect seating position, I think that that's worth something in terms of time on the track. I don't want to have to ever worry again about being uncomfortable. Having a problem, holy shit, this way is probably 25, 30 pounds or something like that. Big ass piece of steel. This is the whole box, end of box number four. Five and six are pretty self explanatory what's in there. to look outside and see who's here. I'm too busy building my rig to care who's like invading my house. I'm put this underneath. Five and six.
This thing's really tough to open. They made these 30. Jeez, man. Talk about fucking heavy. Be prepared for some serious unpackaging. Box number five. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Piece of plexiglass on the end, something like that. Very nice. Let's open this last box up and start framing. This is exciting, isn't it? Oh, it's gonna take hours. I'll have something cool at the end. Hopefully, it all goes together. And that is box number six. Almost. Knock it out. These are the main pieces, so they're going down on the floor first. Everything out of the way. One, two. Box number six. in this loop.
where do I begin? I have an idea. So I know I'll need this giant thing. I would bought one of these, I'm glad it didn't bother. Oh, thank you for the tools. Really helps me. Right size, looks correct to me. Yep. That is correct. Lucky me. With that, somebody. All right. For the feet. Yeah, these are for the feet. Stay with that. Or are they for this? No. Could be for this. I have more stuff than I need, I'm pretty sure. to do this at the beginning but like why why do we do any shit like buying you know expensive equipment to drive with why did I buy this ray why did I buy this wheel they were both cheaper than what I have here but I spent a lot you know why do we do it at all just trying to be the best driver I can be period this should make it easier to do what I can do best the pace is not the same as everybody's but you know Getting your shit together with your equipment or your setup, whatever you're doing, figuring things out as much as you can. And it's all just to have fun doing what we love. If we could get paid for it, we would. Try to enjoy it all the time, no matter what you're doing it for. If you're trying to be the best, we're just trying to have fun. play other driving games with this, but I did buy this for Grand Turismo, unlike a lot of people who would buy something like this. I'm ready to fucking go. So these are the big guys right here. Move things around a little bit. It will fit. I think this will be a centerpiece. Must be. So I'll stack those here. There should be two or three of those. And two. So 
all you need. That was kind of rough. I tried to go live with this, but I was not able to. So heavy. These are maybe, those are uprights that I'm looking at. It's going to go last. Two uprights and the seat. Get to work. That's it for the unboxing. Check out the next video. Throw a like, subscribe. Check out T PHX Esports on Instagram. Of course, PHX Grove on the same platform.